today we're gonna be playing some Syndicate Jackpot, but we're gonna be playing some Fallen Rayla Syndicate Jackpot, who I think, since we're featuring her, may as well transmute. I never have any dust, so just sometimes we transmute random cards. Anyway, so we want to make a Fallen Rayla deck. And basically, what she does is she's got the Veil, 6 for 12. Profit 3, Tribute 3, so she gives herself the coins, so Tribute's always nice. Remove Poison from an allied unit and boost self by 5. So whenever your opponent plays a unit, Poison it and remove a counter. When you get to 0, Tribute comes a fee. So. Basically, she poisons the next two things your opponent plays, and then she can remove your poisons to boost herself. Which is pretty cool. So what we're doing is we're playing Jackpot, like we said. We're playing... A lot of the standard jackpot cards and just some poison stuff. So we are playing, well, I guess we'll just go through it. Tiger's Eye for our first coins, and then Madam, Serenity. Awakening will also transmute. I think that's all of my stuff, though. That's unfortunate. But yeah, you just play her. Pull out your two engines, hopefully win that round. Really strong. I don't think I need to explain that one. Uh, Novigrad, just another really great engine. Spawns you a bunch of coins, has carryover potential. Really nice. The Fallen Rayla herself. Ideally, we can get her going with Geller or something, but uh, we'll see. We have King of Beggars for Madam and such. The Fallen Rayla also tributes, so it's nice. We've got the Captain Yago. He just recovers your coins, which is always a pretty strong effect if you can get it off in a good turn. Royal Decree to find our cards. Ideally, Madam, a lot of the time. The Salamander Hideout. I was playing, what's it called, Flying Redanian instead of this. Just have the extra consistency from the Redanian, because I really like that card. However, I think the hideout synergy with the self-poisoning might just be a little better. Because you can move a poison if you don't have your Rayla, and you've got the Abomination you can make. So I think this is probably a little bit better. Although I do really like the Flying Redanian. Then we have Conjurer's Candle to combo with the Captain Yago. Roland Gellert, because we're playing a poison-based deck. No Salamander in this one, but... These guys are pretty good if you can combo them together. And Geller also combos really well with Fallen Rayla. Then we have the Hiviter and Adelia. Alidia, I mean. Uh, they're just pretty solid 6 power vision engine. We've got the Sly Seductress and two Peaches for the Madam. We've got one Shady Vendor. I like two Vendors normally, but with Fallen Rayla tributing a bit, I think we can probably get away with the one. So we've got Tribute 4 here, Tribute 8 on her, which is enough to trigger King Beggars himself, we also have the Fallen Rayla. It does mean if we don't get the Vendor, we won't um, be getting the King of Beggars out of our deck, but we shouldn't have too much trouble with that. Because even if he just refunds the coins, most of the time that's good enough. You could play the second Vendor instead of Vitir and Elidia. That's possible. Then you have another 5. You could play something like... Uh, I don't want to unit. Where is the Salamandra thing? How am I unable to find it? It's not Selective Mutation. So I always get their names mixed up. Unless it actually is Selective. Oh, it's Stolen Mutagens, yeah. You could play a Stolen Mutagens and cut her to fit a second vendor if you wanted to. That is an option. Then we got some poison stuff like two Fistics, two Experiments, two Traffickers. Just more poisoning. And then we have the Sewer Raiders for Thinning, the Tax Collectors, and the Peaches, like we said. So that's the deck. Has a decent amount of poisons in it. Uh, normally, I think people run, like, a Heat Wave in these Jackpot decks. But we're using poisons instead for Tall Removal. So that's our big difference here. So hopefully we don't run to Ogroids. Although I have not seen an Ogroid player in a long time. Maybe we should make an Ogroid video. I haven't seen those people around in a while. But yeah, this is a deck. Should be pretty fun. I always like playing Fallen Rayla. Let's see if we can make her work. We got Blaze of Glory Warriors. Let's see if it's raids. Although I've seen Blaze of Glory Renfrey as well lately. Apparently every deck's turning into Renfrey. Anyway, let's get rid of King of Beggars. Got one one Sewer Raiders, that's nice. We have access to Madame Louisa. Put that back. How is the Madame Louisa? It's Madame Serenity. And I think from here we've got a couple poisons. I don't want to draw into the Seductress, so we'll keep this. I 
I think it's worth doing the shield here. Because we're going to go Novigrad next. If it's raids, there's no way the Serenity lives. So we're not really concerned about that. I'd rather try and keep one of our engines alive. Oh, and it is Ren free. You know, I've been saying it. You know, I almost want to nerf. I, I voted nerf Ren free in Last Balance Council because she's just everywhere. Oh, lovely. That's, um, that's bad. Really bad for us. We'll have to poison that, I think, because it goes tall. You got a swimming in them breaches. Although, I don't, I don't think he'll have enough points in the round, because he hasn't killed Serenity yet. I think we'll have enough engines that will still win, but this is just annoying me. So this is, uh, are there beasts then, and then this... I've seen this thing where you do Sove on a really big beast, like Raging Bear, then hit it with Blaze of Glory. That's my guess. Like, Sove, Raging Bear, hit it with this would be my guess. With Ren Free Finisher. Could be Beast then, with Corrupted Flaminica too. Or we're just gonna throw it right now. Oh, play the, um... The Spongri. Is that what this is? Spongri's cool. Hey, there he is. Little vulnerable to poisons, which we are playing. I want to just throw this one out right now. In case he kills it. We have two more poisons potentially in hand. So this shouldn't be a problem. I guess this he just throws the Renfrey down round one and carries it over. Seagull. All right, we're looking pretty good here. Love to play the sewer raiders still. They're four though, right? Let's play them next round to start. Hey, Yalmar. I wanted to play Yalmar recently. I thought about it. I think we just play these guys. I don't know why he's committing so hard here. Like, this Yalmar was unnecessary. Just carry that over. Just play the Ren for you earlier. Kind of wish we developed this a little bit sooner, the Tax Collector, but to be fair, even playing all engines, other than the turn we killed Svangri and the Sewer Raiders. Boost by the base power. Okay. We just let him cool, like, Malusi and Fakusha boost it? That'd be interesting. And at the end of your turn, if it's not used... Okay, that's pretty good value for him. Can be filed within seven years. Technically, we should have put him in front of her. Left to right. Technically. But it's fine. It probably won't matter. We want last say. Just because of, uh... Paul removal and such. Didn't use the order. We could just set up the hideout and threaten it. 
I want to play these two round two, and this is later, so this is our only real option here. I don't want to tribute, because that would pull our one person out. Let's just play this. This has the biggest threat potential that he has to respect. And it's also the 6.1. He has a burn we're going to feel kind of... Or, uh, yeah, a burn will feel kind of bad here. So he might have the chance to pull ahead. You don't care about Squirrel. Alright, we'll pass here. We don't want to play these. And he needs a good amount of tempo to get ahead. There's some more Kvark, so he's got this. And the Burna, of course. But, you know, like, these we need for later. We can't just throw them here. Much as we would like to. I guess he got what he wanted by keeping playing this round, but I wouldn't have done it. I also wonder if there's a Yalmar over a Geralt or something. It's quite unfortunate too. If he just passes, if he just dry passes here, we're kind of in a lot of trouble. So we wanted to play these for carryover. Which means we have to hold the Fistic Trafficker, so we're not throwing these two. If he just dry passes, we have to play a unit. And these wouldn't give us points on board. Okay, good. He's going to play something. We do like that. Tier. Okay. We're doing tier stuff. I hate tier. He discarded Sayer Khan earlier. That's good to know. It just happened. Oh, he boosted its base power. There's the Renfries gang. I think we might just... We're probably just going to get 2 0 here. As annoying as it is. I only loot corpses. Except sometimes they're quite fresh. Maybe he'll take that as a win and pass? No. Yeah, I think we got a 2-0 coming in. That's uh, unfortunate to say the least. This plays into tier, but what are we going to do? Although if he doesn't kill Fallen Rayla, we could potentially poison some guys with Gellert and then just remove them all with their um, V, so he doesn't have a cooldown. So we're going to Gellert next. That's basically what we're saying. There's Tyr. The big fake reset coming in here. Oh no, that's right, because he already won around. So we can kill Tyr here, and as always, if you can kill Tyr, you have to kill Tyr. We're okay here. We can move the Gellert Poison as long as he doesn't have a punish for our spender. There's the 20. 
Which has Veil, so we can't poison it. Yeah, we're gonna have the Yago, but I think we're fine. So we can do poisons, we can do Yagos. Let's see, so if we just thinking, we move the poison, that's worth five. If we eat it with her, it's worth five. Gives us an extra one. This is two and three. Then we jackpot. So we go two, three, jackpot. Four, five, Yago, and just carry over coins. Now we've got carrying over Novigrad, carrying over Candle, carrying over four coins. Hopefully that's good enough. He doesn't have any more passive Rhine-Free value. The only thing that is, is I don't think he's playing Corrupted Flamenica. There's not enough beasts. But he could be playing Sove. Uh, the poisons are not great here. I'd rather have you. We want the Shady Vendor. But this is a pair. I think we have to keep our hand. Move it! Or I'll beat you bloody... Maybe there is a Sove. That would be a problem. If we poison this, he just uses its thing on something else, but we don't really... Yeah, we have to poison this. We just kind of have to go tall here. If he damages this down, we just use the three coins and then use the candle again. There's a Seagull. Got a lot of points here. And there's an Igni for two. Yeah, he blew everything around too, but he didn't respect the Yago. GG. Going up against Imprisonment. That will be annoying for our opener. We normally go Madam Serenity. He's going first too. Can we draw... Oh, I was going to say... Can we draw Novigrad? And we did. That's quite nice. I don't want King of Beggars. Don't want you. It's workable. We can decide to go Madam Serenity if we want to. Like Novigrad Serenity. It's an option, but we'll see what he's playing. We'll at least try and see what he's playing. It's probably Imprisonment. We do have Poisons if he goes tall. It's Bombs. Huh. Poison's useless then. This is really good though. He probably heat waves this. We're just gonna discard cards, by the way. The fact that he discarded a bomb, we're just gonna discard everything from our hand until he plays something. Only play artifacts. I mean, we can play this. This does something, right? Gives him a poison. That's tempo on the board. We don't want to play stuff because it plays into the bombs and synthesis and him thinning his deck with sappers. It's not worth it for us. I really wish we had Candle. Be the perfect card here. Bomb your own guy. Did pull the Madoc out. You're an engine, so you have literally no value this game. It's your four power engine. No time you'd be good is if we played you when we're at nine coins, but that's probably not going to happen again. So Phoenix. Now we could probably get away with... No, we can't get, get away with one of these.
Hopefully he doesn't have the Letho Kingslayer. If he had all the setup cards for carryover, that'd be a pain. But we're trying not to let him get to him. Because he can't cycle the sappers. He does have that now. Then we'll just give it to him here. Give him initiative. He's going first. He won't like that either. We need our artifacts. We want to thin with you. We need to Serenity this round, even if it's not great, because um, we just need to thin our deck with her. Let her profit booster up a little bit. That'll be nice. Have you ever laid eyes on a deception of such grandeur? Now we have to play her. Puts a head of card here. And out of range of the bombs. You could bomb and leader. That's the leader. Hideout would fix that, but we're not holding it, unfortunately. The next turn we'll go play our Steward Raiders. This will take up to five coins for us. We should use this next turn. The Sapper. Red Haze is a good one for him. Yeah, this guy is still being annoying. Uh, we have to use this to see what we get. I guess you're the best. Because of the... And then we'll go... Impressive. Throw one of these guys down. He has a pass here if he wants it. Probably has his Letho Kingslayer, though. He's gonna be a right good levy. Big and beautiful. We always have we always have access to King Beggars from this for our spending. So right now we don't have to worry. The lock Roland, sure. We're gonna play our Raiders, I think. Oh yes, tips. Keep spamming the emotes. I love it. You will not regret this, good sir. Reality is that does not go away. Figured he'd kill that. You serve me well. Then we'll throw you down. We still have Yago. Let's go vendor Yago next. I don't know why this guy's spamming so much. He does have good carryover, I guess. This commodity. 
to your town. I swear it. Uh, we, could we don't really want to clear his rail. Let's just make it like make a smuggle. Let's Yago next turn gets us the round. You can always clear his own row by hitting this, but. And that was a Nausicaa. Okay. Sure. Coins carrying over. He does have Madoc in his stuff, but I don't think he's killed that many cards. Or Blaze. And we're up a card now. There's Hideout. We'd like a second Poison. So we can have this Order and then say Synthesis Blaze. Uh, this can work. Have a moon dust, but we've got a second experiment. Push on! No mercy! He still has two golds left. That's interesting. I guess one's left out of Kingslayer, right? And the last card, so Synthesis Blaze, I would imagine. So we're good here. We don't. We just don't pay her tribute. So it gives us enough coins for this, and then we can poison fee. We don't have to poison fee, actually, just because she's gonna poison this to Synthesis Blaze for us. And this gives us four coins. Well, this is just a random bomb. It's just a random bomb. Oh, whatever. Easy game, right? Easy game, buddy. Mr. Toxic Spammer. Nice try, though. Rule 5-5. Five, five. Precision Strike. This is probably just for Renfrey Precision Strike. That deck is everywhere. As Cursed Girl so probably is. They have a lot of answers to Madam, and we don't have the initial coins. We'd love to have Novigrad here. This is the only copy of that, so we don't want that in our hand. I don't think we want this, because we could redraw the second one, although it's a decent engine, actually. We will hold on to it. I think, no, it's safest just to put it back. We have a lot of options here. We could poison that. I think we do poison that. This gives him options on his dwarves. We don't like him having options. Plus we need coins from Madam anyway. So we can decide if we want to poison it. Or if we want... This could just be Precision Strike Dwarves, honestly. I think we get rid of that. We don't have Gellert, so this poison doesn't get refreshed. Although we could put a trafficker poison on it but then that costs more than just poisoning him right because we get three coins back but this costs four i think we should just play you i think this is correct this way. Helps them. <laughs> My noble knight. i think we should just do that The only scary thing is Zoltan Warrior. Which he probably has. He's playing this many dwarves. Although, the, if it's the Renfrey version, like Renfrey Precision, Precision Strike doesn't always play Zoltan. 
Okay, he's, if he has Zoltan, it's come down right now. It looks like he does. Oh, no, that'll work. I would have killed Madam. Okay, he's gonna kill both. Fair enough. Can't say we're too surprised by how this is going. That does not mean we are happy with it, however. Go for a poison here. I think we just do this. And draws Renfrey, probably, or the Rune Mage. Trying to get carryover from it would be my guess. We don't really have many good plays left, although we'd like to play Sewer Raiders still. Of course, that means that was the shade right there. Or Iris, rather. Let's call it shade for some reason. So we did that. So we're down 12 here. Pretty sure this is the... Definitely play those guys. I'm trying to think of how much more we play. There's the gang. Two poisons. Don't have a spender right now, so we'd have to play candle if we wanted to spend coins here. I think we just pass. I don't really want to play Candle. We want it carried to round three. It's very unfortunate. He won very unfortunate. He won the round with Madam Serenity, but with the Persistent Strike Leader, he's just gonna kill it anyway. Well, not anyway, but he'll hold it until he can kill it. Hello, King of Beggars. Get out of here. See, this is all pretty decent. like two poisons otherwise I'd put one of these back immediately uh let's see you know maybe we do with well, Roland maybe not I think we put you back there she is And Renfrey's just everywhere. Like, yeah, Renfrey Koshe Monsters is really popular. This is really popular. Renfrey Beast Skellige is popular. I see more Renfrey decks in those factions than non-Renfrey decks. It's quite annoying, actually. This has carryover, and he can't remove it, so we should play it. Just passes. Interesting. Very interesting. We need 10 points here, right? So we could spawn the gang. We don't have a 10 point tempo play. I think we need to use the order on this. We're taking this because it's a 5. Work, a rest. We need 6 more. This will give us six. We'll lose our King of Beggars. That's fine. It could very well be the deal of a lifetime. The three points gets us there. The also carrying over an extra coin. Let's look at 10 extra coins this round from Novigrad, so that's a good carryover. Hideout would... Okay, there's Hideout. That's a good card. We're missing Gellert, but we have Decree. Also missing... We'd like one of those two, if possible. Uh, this is pretty solid hand, actually. Alright, that's good. So we want to open Hideout, I think. I think we would open, we want to get Gellert. Yeah, I think we open Hideout. Make our poison guy. Could kill it. Let's 
So he still has all of his gold car gold cards left, basically. We've left an so that's for Zoltan Warrior. We should kill that, because Zoltan Warrior would be a real big pain. Just the extra points pinging. Although I don't like doing this because it means we're losing out on value from um, Roland. But I think it's worth it to stop like nine turns of pinging. Okay, it didn't matter. So we just lost value there. Let's grab our Gellert. Fresh that. Oh, no Zoltan Warrior yet. Fuck, because he can only hit one guy. Oh, did we lose connection? That's unfortunate. Uh, we are going to run out of ways to spend coins pretty soon. Because we want to develop the candle. We'll use the fee on our one guy. The he has a chance to kill our Gellert here. The fee on the experiment will make it pretty convenient candle turn. It's gonna Cyprian Wiley. Okay, <laughs> seen a lot of Cyprian Wiley. I think it's worth removing the chariot. Question is, we play you instead. Can also develop the Fallen Rayla. We should use this fee. I think we do this one. Go Fallen Rayla here. I like the idea of just getting rid of this, though. Give us our coins back. I think we just develop her. You take the left, and I'll take the right. Got poisons on herself with the traffickers and fallen Rayla. Poison the experiment again. Okay, he's gonna kill her. Fine. Still have our candle, which we need to play. A lot of coin management issues here. Eh, we just waste these coins and play this, I think. Doesn't feel good, but we need to get it out. We just have to get. We just have to get it out on the board. He's gonna go for the Roland kill, I'm guessing. No, he's not. Interesting. Interesting. So let's do some coin boosting. We'll leave the candle at four and five because it's pretty convenient for Yago. There's the Geralt. That's pain. I don't think Fallen Rayla's gonna do much here. Could go Yago this turn, now that he Geralted. Four, five, nine, six. Play this. I think we just don't pay, or we can just not pay her tribute. Let's just not pay her tribute. She'll boost herself by three, which is nice. I'm gonna kill her with his leader, though. With Geralt gone, we don't really have great options here. And there is the Zoltan Warrior. I don't think Yago will be enough here. Uh, if we wait for this, I think we get an extra candle, right? Four, five. Play you. Six. It's down to three. Goes really tall, though. Played Geralt, though. 
You go for it. Just go for it. We don't really have a choice. And he did already play Geralt. We do have a choice, but like we could have waited. I don't think waiting for this doesn't really change anything. There's a great oak. That'll get him the win, though. Unfortunate. This deck is incredibly boring. This is everywhere. I think we could have managed that round three a little bit better. I don't think we should have gone so early on the poisons. We needed a candle. I almost considered playing candle round two. Just carried over. Level up we're playing into. Ooh, stockpile siege. That's scary. I mean, I'm assuming it's siege. Stockpile's scary. We don't have a way to... Uh, he got Crystal Skull. Crystal Skull is the ultimate answer to our deck. We cannot get rid of it. Whatever he puts that on, we just can't kill. We need Madam Serenity. Unfortunately, we... Oh, we do have her. Nice. The last redraw I thought about, because we could get King of Beggars off of it. But we also wanted to find Serenity. But this gives him two damage. A little annoying. Okay, if that was an engine that did damage, we would have been very sad there. Thankfully, it wasn't. Connection lost. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Our connection lost. Hey, hey. All right, that's fine. Don't be telling us that. Clearly, <laughs> our internet's not fine if it's telling us that, by the way. I was just joking around. What do we've got? Onager. Oh, my favorite card. And that's where Crystal Sculling. Because, of course, he's got 50-50 here. And he's... Well, not even a 50-50. Like, 33. And he just kills her. Awesome. Uh, we need more engines. We might Rayla here. This round's the most important one, right? Maybe Rayla this round. Cannot let him get the round set up he wants later in the game. Whereas we can always take a short round with Jackpot Yago. This Onager is a huge problem. But like I said, there's nothing we can do about it. I'm guessing we lose either Geller or Rayla here. Because he's got like a Warfare would get him to cool down. He probably has Warfares. We do have three poisons in our hands, so the Rayla's really good here. Revenants, okay. I think we should poison him. Black Rayla might get us this round. Not Black Rayla. I always call her Black Rayla. Fallen Rayla. Rayla, not Rayla. Sorry, guys. You know how I am with pronunciations. I try my best. You guys correct me in the comments. I try and remember. <laughs> it doesn't mean I can talk normally, though. Alright, we got Boiling Oil. We knew that was coming. The Hubert. A rebirth. Drop in you. Some more engineering. Still have poison for the next thing he plays, which is nice. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a plus 10. We don't like that. Uh, we could just use your fee now. It's five. And then we can just play you. We could try for the gang. I think we do. Just keep up the pressure on even. I like this one. Deals, deals. Keep up the uneven pressure. I think we do spend the coins here now that we're still having enough for this. He hasn't shown a Dane Secret Service yet, so he doesn't have it. Oh, he's going to ping that guy away. If he was Assault. A lot of pings going on here. That's for sure. Same time next week. He doesn't have great stockpiles right now either. Okay, now he's got a decent one next turn. He's gotta use one here. He's gonna ping off our tax collector. Go with you. This kills the Onager, which is extremely good here. But it might actually be better to kill this. No, it isn't. Killing the Onager. I was thinking about killing this because it means you can't stockpile two units. Hopefully, this is Hensil or Siege and he has to play it. It's probably Hensult then if he's deciding. There we go. That's a good card to get rid of. He's just gonna get us with the cooldowns now, right? His leader, he should use some. Guess he does one more to fire Foltus Pride again. Maybe he thinks 12 is enough. It is. We're gonna have to pass here. So it's good that he used another one. Alright, we'll accept this. He's got like 22 points on us, but we did force him, force out the Hensel, or 20 points because he doesn't cool down again. We forced out the Hensel and Pride. We're pretty happy with this. Pretty happy. We used Gellert, so Roland's not as strong anymore. That's a good card to draw. We shouldn't redraw there. I don't think anymore. If he pushes us, though, he's got a chance. Maybe we should have redrawn because of this. Oh, we're using it 2 out. It appears we might just get 2 out. We don't have the coins, actually. That's pretty good. Hopefully his stuff does damage, and he just passes. I mean, that does damage. Is that no cooldown cards, though? Alright, we'll take it. He made us a little nervous there for a minute, but... We're fine. Uh, we can keep this, right? Because we go one, then one. Get this an extra coin next round. And theoretically, we can hopefully win with Iago. I don't know how much control these decks run. Like Heat Wave type control, just targeted Tall Punish. We should get our Iago. I mean, that's two poisons. I'll put you back. Your value is good, though. At least put one of these back, then. No, we want the two poisons, I think. Is 
This is a tough choice. I got loot put in there. Drew the Yago. That's good. He's poison the next thing he plays, right? Let me go in for the Yago turn after. Yep, we poison that. I pass on every tenth ride. Although it might be worth playing Roland first, because Roland gives us coins. This is greedy. But I don't think he has... No, he doesn't have immediate damage, so this should be fine. We still do this now, though. Boiling oil. Is he going to leader charge? Just try and ping it. Gets it. They always get it. They always get it. So I'm going to go 2, 3, 4, 5 on Yago. Still feeling okay. But we have to use it before he dies. So I think we just do it now. Although then we can't do the coin. If we do this. What's the chance his cards kill our guy? Pretty small, right? Pretty small. Let's be greedy. So this, this makes the Yago much better. If we get the... Because we can use extra candle first. Oh, you'd love to see it. Good old Captain Yago. If this is like a heat wave, he's got it though. <laughs> well, apparently it isn't. Goodbye. So that's the deck, guys. Is it as good as regular Jackpot? No, not really. But I like I like Fallen Rayla. I think she's fun. I think I just think she's fun. Follow Rayla and the Poisons. I do enjoy it. I wanted to make this, before we talk about some potential options here, I really wanted to make this a self-poison deck where you poison yourself and then get value. I can type. Right, so you go like um, with like this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy, especially Mutant. Like Mutant got that buff where it spawns an extra copy for one. I truly tried to make the deck. It just didn't work out for me. I think it... I don't know. I think I think I have to work on that some more. I really wanted to make a self-poison deck. We'll probably come back to it. But Mew in particular, when you poison it with Geller, it's so much value. So we will revisit self-poisoning in particular at some point in the future. I couldn't get it to work. I think there's got to be a build that makes it work. Maybe not in Jackpot, but you guys let me know if you've got any, any deck list for like self-poison. Because it looked... I tried it. And I couldn't quite get it to work. It almost works in here. It almost works. Because um, the only problem is you only really have... Here's my problem with self-poison, right? To poison your own guys, you are you have Trafficker, which is a good card. And you've got Gellert, which is a good card. Right? The, the problem that I have with the self-poisoning is other than those two... I guess you can um, Fistic your own guys too, right? It's any unit. It's so like Fistic and Fistic Trafficker... Maybe you just play these and then just toss in a mutant instead of maybe one of the instead of I don't know, instead of the tax collectors for an engine, but they're good. I don't know. You guys let me know. I'm interested in ideas for this. Self poison's fun. It's just I think it relies too much on Geller is my problem with it. But, oh well. Anyway, that's the deck, guys. That's the side note aside, side note over. Um, I think it's quite nice. I would like a second vendor. I think the Fallen Rayla triggering your tribute for King of Beggars gets him down to one. So maybe you play a tribute one card in here. Hear that? Just second vendor. It didn't seem to be a problem in our games, to be honest. So maybe you do that. And then if you want to play more standard, you could. But I like Fallen Rayla. I think she's cool. I just think that, um, I don't know. I really wanted to fit Morale to, like, maybe we got to go more all in on the poisons. Maybe we cut Hideout? Hideout seemed alright, but I don't know if it was really worth it. Because we can cut Hideout, and then Hivita and Lydia put second vendor in, and then run... Yeah, second vendor in. It's a possibility. Goes down one. We gain one. We can put in 
flying Ardanian that way, or we could put in Morale, which could be fun. Like, just Morale instead of the Hideout. That's an option. But no, you guys let me know. This deck was a lot of fun to play. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and we'll see you in the next one. That'll be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And you can check out some more videos over here. And thanks for watching.